What's up, everybody? So, we have a special guest here, and special it's special been guest. missing from the channel for quite some time. Hey, but guys. it's Luke. Luke, hey. welcome back. Long yeah, time no see. Been a minute. So, been I have minute. people asking me constantly, sending me DMs, leaving messages yeah, in the video and Where's stuff. The Where's the truck? Where's the truck? Did guys? you sell the truck? I see you got like a new car, and we may feature it on the channel eventually, but. Uh, yeah. What's happening with the truck? The truck has been the daily for a couple months now and it's it's needing some love. So we're back in the garage. We're back in the garage. We're ready to do some stuff. But you've got you've got a few things ordered that you want to do. We're yes. gonna save that for the next video because in this video, we're gonna kinda go over the truck, look over everything, yeah. show it off, and uh see how it's held up. Yeah, how everything's held up and what the future plans are for it because like we said, it's been a good because Last time you were here was like February. The last time we worked on the truck was November, no, December. December of when we, when last year. When we did the year. floor plan, the floor yeah. that. So these people, that. they've been they've been wanting to know yes. for quite some time. So I guess let's go ahead, get the 240 out, out of here for right now, and uh, bring the truck in. Maybe we'll take the truck out, get some pictures and stuff, post it on the Instagram and everything so you guys can check those out. I've been getting kind of pretty good with my camera skills. Yeah. I've been kind of practicing. So hope you guys have been liking those photos. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead, get the truck in here, look over it because like I said, it's been a long time since it's been gone. And uh, we'll just see what we got the plans yeah. for. So you guys can see the truck is back. It is not sold, and uh, we're yeah, gonna it. yeah. Keep it. <laughs> I know we like eh, I it's kind of on the fence because you got that new car, which it's a, it's a stinger. You guys should yeah. probably see it from maybe the GTS. thumbnail. I don't know. We'll GTS. see. Yeah, I mean that car is pretty cool. We will. I think we should do a review on that. We car. should. Yeah. But stay tuned for that. But anyway, we've got the truck in here today now, and it is back. It has been forever, like we have said. And uh, let's basically go over everything that we've done because some of the stuff I don't remember. Like I had to go back know. and like look at videos and stuff just to even see. But you guys can see here, the truck originally started as that good old doo-doo brown. Yeah, that California brown. Yes, sir. And it was a B2000, had the body style of the B2000, which All we ended up swapping it out to a B2600, which is still mm -hmm. rocking those logos. Yeah, even Getting though it's not if it's, if it's four, four by four. four. Yeah. Mm, it's not. Sorry. Two wheel peeler. Exactly. Um, the wheels we ended up painting, you can already see. That rust is pushing It's kind of through. pushing through the paint. These still stayed nice though. These are still yeah. nice and polished from when we did that. All the undercoating and the frame, all that stuff still looks good. Um, the bed back here, you guys can see this. We did like the bed swap and everything. We still need to get a latch. Well, we need that to redo there. that whole fuel thing. It's blown out. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. Or something. This plastic piece. Yeah, this plastic piece. Yep. So, yep, there's that. Um, I guess as far as exterior goes, that was pretty much it. Well, yeah, because we, we did touch up like the front bumper and stuff. And we did all that. Yeah. Um, the only thing that we did do was paint this. They still upheld it great. As far as the mirrors go, you guys saw we put the factory doors with the mirrors on. Mm -hmm. We originally had the fender mirrors. Those are gone with the B2000 still panels. We have them. We could put them on if we wanted to. Oh, yeah, but... you do still have them. Mm -hmm. I forgot. I thought we gave it with the truck. Did we? No, we still have them. Did we? Because we put the Odd old man blood. style mirrors on yeah, it. We, <laughs> yes, we yeah. did. So we ended up getting rid of that with the old, old man mirrors. But uh, as far as the front end goes, our paint job. Well, I don't think we really scuffed with the grill. We scuffed no. up the bumper and the stuff. The bumper's held up. Which this is probably the only thing that's still remaining from the B2000 as far as exterior goes. Yeah, well, aside from, from the, the cab. cab and this, this is it. Yep, so you've got the grill and the bumper. We put on the headlights, which you guys saw, which those still work. I mean, you guys just yeah. saw them when it pulled in. Yep. Still got the corner lenses here that are clear. Um, yeah, overall the truck still pretty much looks the same. Like Luke said, he's just been driving it, cruising around town and uh, going back and forth to work. Now, I guess we want to show them the interior next. Yeah, we can turn to Because we did a lot of stuff on the interior. And I'm honestly curious to see how this is held up. It's been... Don't mind my picnic blanket. <laughs> yeah, because you work a lot and you don't want to dirty up the seats I, yeah, too much. Yeah, I mean, and even then it's... But you guys can see here, our door panels still look good. The paint is held up great on the interior, it looks like. All the stuff. Even where we repaired this crack and stuff, it's not this there This has been anymore. awesome. This has been sitting in the sun too, I'm surprised. Yep. 
the dash is still good. We got the radio, good. we got the shifter here, still got the DBZ shift knob. And then we had recently put in the new carpet and seats. Now, and floor. Yeah, we did do a whole <laughs> new floor pan. That was a whole job in itself. Yeah. Um, seats, uh, seats, if you come over here, good. I don't know if you want to jump over here, but this is Oh yeah, the driver's faded. side is right in the sun fade. This is all sun faded. Dang, that sucks. I guess you can see it here on the lower section too. Yeah. That does suck, man. It's all right. I mean, we got them just to have yeah. passenger seats, really. If I want to put different ones in, we can. And our top is still bare. Oh yeah, let me turn my light on here so you guys can see it a little bit better in here. Yeah, we never did do this front half because we still need to do a headliner. Well, and or I have I delete bought that this or something. But we never got around to installing that. And I don't, I don't even know that we could put it back in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I think we maybe just leave it bare or something. We'll figure it we out. We have to repaint up here. I just think so we do. Body matches the black. The black. The back is black. You can see there, the paint's held up really good. You can really see the flake and stuff in it. Yeah. I think we just get another can of tuxedo black and hit the front. Yeah. Or the sides in the front. Yeah. This has been a detriment though. The steering wheel? The steering rack, or the steering wheel, uh, we need to replace at some point. Which we did get that one from uh, Grant? For, yeah, from Grant, I still have it. So I think we do put it in at we'll some point. Hopefully do that here soon. Yeah. That'll be a good. But this, this came off while I was driving and actually broke my windshield stock. Oh yeah, is so, that what this here on the floor is? Yep, the old that's one? the old one. Oh man, yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Oh yeah, it snapped right off, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, it busted it. Well, so, at least you got that replaced. Yeah, and I haven't. I've been popping that off when I drive. Yeah, there's no airbag nothing there. Well, doesn't yeah, matter. Doesn't matter. But this, I think, has really only been the the issue. Overall, it looks like the interior is held up really good, yeah. aside from like the seats fade, and then like obviously you said that issue. Yeah. You said that the uh, dash lights still work. Dash yeah. lights still work. I actually had to unplug our radio. That was tripping it. It was. It kept tripping it every time I turned on my headlights, and it would blow a fuse. Oh, okay. So I unplugged it, and I figured. I mean, we'd either you like back to it back and forth to work anyway. Oh so. yeah, and it's not like I yeah had time to really listen to music or anything. Yeah, but, but yeah, overall, I'd say the interior looks pretty good. Functional. Yeah. Now, as far as the engine bay goes, we hadn't really done too much. The engine bay, we did the we headers, the exhaust, emissions, emission or delete, emissions. We did the valve cover and stuff. Valve cover, carburetor, emissions. That's oh, on exhaust. Oh yeah, exhaust. Oh, that's we did, it. We did the fuel pump or oh, the yeah. fuel pump, yeah. which that was all just relatively like, small maintenance stuff. I'm curious how yeah. all this stuff. Oh dude. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. This looks is, like this has become a problem. Looks like our PC is that's a PCV, right? That's, yeah, PVC, like that's PCV valve leaking pretty bad there. It's shooting stuff up it's there. It's shooting oil out. Yeah, that's not white no more. That's a uh, like a no. dirty yellow. This is a. Yeah. Yeah. That's and it's not gross. coming out. It's baked on. But it still runs fine. It runs fine. I think. I mean, I don't, I'm not a fan of carburetors, but if I shut it off, it wants more gas and it'll... There's like that decycling. Yeah, it'll like diesel yeah. or whatever you want yeah. to call it. It just wants to keep going and starves itself till it shuts off. Which we are, we had plans of doing something different than this motor anyway. Yeah, I There's... just wanted it to run properly and be yeah. less restrictive. And we've still got plans on the table as far as like what we want to do to this motor. Not not this motor, but what the future motor yeah. will be. We're still coming up with some ideas. We don't know if we do like... A uh, Miata or a Honda. Or... Yeah, like a K-Series, uh, Miata motor, even an LS. I mean, or, maybe not an LS, those are quite those are pretty big. Maybe, and big. maybe we go like a Vortec, like a 4.8 or something. Yeah, or something like that. We don't know. I kind of like to play around with the four-cylinder thing just because I think this is be a two-liter. We can keep it, like I know that batch is 2600, but... <laughs> Keep it like the two liter that came in the truck, just a better well, two liter. And it's one bank of cylinders. Yeah. Yeah. It'd and be a lot smaller, easier that. to fit. I don't know. You guys can throw it down in the comments below what you guys think, whether what motor we should go with. I don't know if we want to go with the big bpv 8s or like I said, just go with a four cylinder, yeah. like maybe even turbo or, maybe or, something. or something. I mean, that's all new stuff to us. We'd learn it, be able to show you guys, document all yeah. that stuff. So. Well, and just driving it has been not fun, I guess. It's just really, really slow. Well, compared to your new car. Yeah. That's the thing That's too. The other issue. Luke has, like we keep saying, Luke has that new car, and it makes me not want to touch this. Yeah, it just kind of sets in the back. And I go, oh. like, why would I drive this if I have a 365 horsepower Kia Stinger? Yeah, Stinger. Yeah. And just driving it back to work, like back and forth from work, has just been. It makes for a great work truck, and it makes for a great project car. Yeah, but. Just but like it's us. not fun. And us finding time for him and I to get together. You guys have seen that Luke has been kind of off the channel for quite some time now. Well, we had COVID Our, and everything. We had the COVID thing. I mean, it's, I was working at the hospital happening. too. Exactly. So. 
and our work schedules have not been lining up at all. This is like the first time that we've gotten him to come over yeah. here, be able to do stuff. So hopefully here in the next video, next couple of videos, we'll be able to do some stuff with him and uh, do some mods to the truck finally, just because it's been forever. So here is like basically the overall look of the truck. You guys can still see it's in good condition relatively. I mean, you have some oil yeah. leaks and stuff with the motor, at least well, from the PCV. Yeah, this um, is a whole. The interior still looks good, aside from like some of the seat fade and stuff. And we still have a lot of work to do this truck. So if you guys are still excited for this project, we're still doing stuff to it. It's not gone. Um, we're collecting parts. We're collecting parts. We are still trying to do stuff. Like I said, we're still trying to schedule stuff for Luke and I to do stuff together. But uh, this truck is far from done. So stay yeah. tuned for plenty more content. We'll have Luke back more often. Yes. And uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you get a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, we're gonna try to bring the truck back and do more stuff. We'll probably go out now, get a couple shots of the truck, post it up on Instagram and stuff. But uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>